Hello and welcome to this short video tutorial on 3DS Max where I'm looking at a plugin made by Diomatic. You can see up here I've got a Diomatic item on my toolbar where I've got access to lots of the plugins that I've purchased and if you don't know any of them you can always visit diomatic.com and go and have a look. The idea behind the Diomatic plugins is to make everything far quicker and simpler for an animator and the one that I particularly want to look at today is Facial Studio. This is going to create a head and it's going to allow me to add materials to the head very quickly and also I'm going to be able to lip sync that head to an audio file in next to no time, a job which is usually strenuously difficult. So I'm going to go to Facial Studio and click create a head. And then the next thing I do is I'm going to go to my left viewport and I'm going to click in the middle and I'm just going to drag and up comes a default head. And then I'm going to right click on my perspective window and I'm going to Alt W to make it full screen, Z to zoom into the item and holding the Alt key and the middle mouse wheel, just going to move the head around so we can see it a bit clearer. And there we have a basic Facial Studio head. Now Facial Studio is available in uh, as a Windows product, it's available to work in other programs as well I believe, but you can certainly create it very quickly and very simply in 3ds Max with this. Now of course it is fully customizable, so we just go across to the Modify panel, and as soon as we get to the Modify panel you'll see here it says Facial Studio, hit the plus sign, you've got all the different bits and pieces we can work on. So for instance, Shape. If I open up shapes, and I'm just going to pull this out because we're probably going to end up looking at a few columns, you can see that I can change it from female to male. And we can decide if we want it to be quite African looking. Or maybe we want it to be Asian looking. Or maybe Indian American or American Indian. So you've got a whole bunch of ideas that you can play with with these sliders very simply and very quickly. You can even make it slightly asymmetric to be a bit more real world. You can have something that's highly average or highly stylized. You've got all of these sliders to play with, plus you've got cat mouths and other bits and pieces to play with. If you don't know quite where to start, you can even click the random button, and the random button will give you all kinds of different heads to play with from all sorts of different looks. So we can start with something that says, I don't know, let's say, let's start with someone who looks like this. Okay, so I've got a head created for me, but say I want to change something. So I want his ears to stick up a bit. Well look, there's an ears tab. Click on the ears tab and look at all the options I've got. So for instance we the rotation of the ears, so let's have a look at the X rotation or maybe it's the Z rotation. There you go, the Z rotation. We can even decide whether we want the ears to be slightly further up the head or further down the head. I might them slightly up, maybe not quite that much. And we can fiddle around and you get the idea. You can play around to your heart's content with all the different items that you've got here to go through and some of them are very involved. You see if you go to the eyes you've got lots and lots of bits and pieces that you can play with. So that's how simple it is to create a head and modify the head. You've got options to be able to play with the um, overall resolution of the item and all kinds of other bits and pieces. I'm not going to go into all of them but also we can apply materials very simply to the head because at the moment if I was to do a quick preview of the head just click the render production, you'll see that there's no materials on the head. Um, however, if I go back up to Facial Studio at the top, you see that I've got something here that says apply head materials. Click apply head materials and it gives me kind of a default material, but if I hit, well I would hit F9 but that'll stop my recording, so I'm just going to hit render production and you'll see it is just a generic material. However, to be able to add actual faces or facial material onto it, you open up your material editor and then you take the picker to get materials from your object, because bear in mind something has actually been applied. Take your picker, go across to your head and click to collect the material. And you see that we've got all these different slots created. Now we can actually add into those slots the materials that we have got loaded on the machine when we put in Facial Studio. So you click on Face, and then under Diffuse you click on the Map option here, and then we can go to the browser, and you can see all the Facial Studio options that we have. Now this is a man, he looks slightly Asian to me, so let's go for um, Asian Male 3. If I double click on Asian Male 3, it's applied. You can see that the three maps have been applied in there. And then I can go up 
and keep going up until I get back to the option to be able to apply eye. So let's just do a quick render and see what we've got so far. I started to get an Asian man applied. Very good, but his eyes obviously aren't there. Actually, the bits that you apply the eyes to are going to be the left and right cornea. So I'm going to choose the left cornea. And again, I'm going to choose the map option under diffuse. And I'm going to go down and I'll see I've got some eyes at the bottom here. Towards the bottom, we've got brown eyes and blue eyes and cartoon eyes. So I'm going to give him um, cartoon eye brown on this one. And I'm going to go up and I'm going to choose the right cornea. And I'm going to choose the map button and I'm going to give him a cartoon eye blue. Click OK. And then go up again. And then you can see the multi sub object material has been applied. If I now do a quick render, you'll see that he's got one brown and one blue eye. And of course, we can zoom in and have a closer look if we want as well. There we go. So we've got the Asian man. Obviously, the resolution needs playing with. Those are bits and pieces that you could cover yourself. I'm just showing you how easy it is to do this. Now, the other thing is, I want this man to talk. I want him to be able to have lip sync to an audio file that I've created. So I'm going to click down here on the animation tab. Firstly, look at all the options. Look, over here, I can generate sadness, anger, joy, fear, disgust, surprise. So let's see what anger looks like. Just turn the slider up, and I've got an angry looking man. Or maybe fear. So you're going to play around with all of these. Obviously, you wouldn't take the sliders to the extremes as I am here, but you can do all these different bits and pieces. Plus, you can also play around with uh, the lip syncing stuff. So, say you've got S as in sit, you can put it up in its. So, you could actually manually do it, but notice over here we've got build lip sync and if you've bought it, open voice o -matic. And I'm going to open voice o -matic, and I get a little wizard about how to do this. Firstly, I'm going to click here, which says open a WAV file. Click to open a WAV file, and I select a little sample of uh, audio, which is something I did for a promotion for Sea Houses. Click that, and it says, all right, do you want to set the sound as the active one? Yes, I do. Next question, do you want to set the length of your scene according to the sound file? Yes, I do. Saves me having to do it manually. It stayed the same length because I've done this before, but that's now the correct length. You can add text files. You can play around with um, Visimi if that's advice me or however you pronounce it you can look that up in the help file but because I've opened this through facial studio I don't actually have to bother with that I can simply just click create keys and wait for a moment or two and there are my keys created and I can shut that down if I like now I'm gonna leave it open just for a moment sometimes you want to play around with the values here so do you want him to always be fully clothed do you want him to open 100% on some, depending on the size of your head, might be absolutely huge. It might not open enough, so you might want to play around with the percentages here. Plus, smoothing and anticipation might make it look a little bit more delayed, but you can play around with those and have fun um, just to make sure it's a little bit better. But if I hit the home key and then the forward slash button, which is a question mark key, we can have a little listen to our man talking. Sea Houses on the Northumberland coast is appealing as an access point to the nearby Farn Islands where puffins and many other seabirds nest and breed each year. There you go. We've created lip sync. We've added materials. I'll just do a quick single render. There's our man, and he has actually spoken. And what I'll try and do is I'll try and render this out and add it on to the end of this tutorial. So, would I recommend this? Well, if you want to create heads and you want them to lip sync and talk, and you want to be able to add all kinds of emotions and other bits and pieces, I'd say this is a no-brainer. My name's Andrew Davis. I hope you found this tutorial useful and thank you for watching. Sea Houses on the Northumberland coast is appealing as an access point to the nearby Farne Islands where puffins and many other seabirds nest and breed each year.